Hi, I'm Michael and this is California. And with the new year here and all the revelry died down, 2021 seems to be off to a good start as people are already starting to see their $600 stimulus checks show up in their personal bank accounts, which is record time in comparison to the first round of stimulus checks, which was admittedly a bit of a mess. That being said, there are some important insights that are coming out about the newest round of stimulus checks and how a lot more people may actually be left out from getting any of those $600 benefits. Additionally, there are important updates for folks on Social Security who are trying to figure out the status of their $600 stimulus checks. So today we are talking about the second round of $600 stimulus checks starting to get received, some additional people who are being left out from stimulus checks this time around, and a few important key updates for people on Social Security regarding their second round of $600 stimulus checks. Now this is your daily dose, and before we get to it, if you like this information, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And that way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. So today let's start off with a new group of people who will not be eligible for any amount of stimulus in this second round of stimulus checks. One of the consequences of the second round of stimulus checks being lower is that it will have a detrimental effect on how many people will be eligible for some amount of the relief payment. This is because of the way the benefit is designed to be distributed. In both the last and this round of stimulus checks, benefits for folks who make over the yearly income qualifying amount have their benefits decreased by $5 for every $100 worth of income over that limit. As a reminder, the limit is $75,000 for single filers and $150,000 for joint filers. This means that if a single person made $75,100, then their benefit would drop by $5 making their relief payment $595 instead of $600. With checks being $600 in this round rather than $1,200 like the last time, once a single person's income gets to $87,000 a year, then they will be outside of the scaled down relief payment range. This has shortened the eligibility range from $99,000, which was in the original stimulus checks, which is $12,000 less in income that a person can make and still be eligible for some sort of help. For couples that dropped from $198,000 in the original stimulus check down to $174,000 in this second round. This could potentially leave out hundreds of thousands of people who have received benefits in the first round but may not be able to get it this second round. This may not seem like a big deal because these folks are making pretty good money, but keep in mind for people living in high cost cities or who have adult dependents who do not count for stimulus checks, this could really hurt them and result in a lot less money at a time when they need it most. Now for some good news, and that is for people who are eligible for this round of stimulus checks, they are already starting to see their $600 stimulus checks show up in their bank accounts. This is of course for folks who have already set up their direct deposits with the IRS previously. Although there isn't any specific numbers about how much money has been distributed yet or how many people have received it, anecdotally there are reports of people who are seeing the money show up. So of course, if you have seen a $600 relief payment show up in your account, let us know. And moreover, if you have gotten the paper check, that would be a great help to the community to know as well. Also, the IRS is updating their Get My Payment website, which was used in the first round of stimulus checks to follow the progress of someone's stimulus check. At the moment, the system is still down for maintenance, but once the system is back up and running, it will be able to be used to follow up the status for a second round of stimulus check, as well as the first round if you have not yet received it. With the IRS's My Payment website down and still under update, there is not really any information about when it'll be back up and running, but hopefully it will be sooner than later. Lastly today, let's talk about some important points about this round of stimulus checks and people on Social Security. People who are receiving Social Security are a special situation because although they are in the system, they are sometimes not quite in the system. This caused quite a few issues in the first round of stimulus checks and left a lot of people on SSI, SSDI, and Social Security retirement still waiting for their first round of stimulus checks even today. With this round of stimulus checks, it is important to note that the new revised IRS Get My Payment portal will be available for Social Security recipients to check the status of their stimulus checks once it's back up and running. Second is that Social Security non-filers who are not able to claim their under 17 year old dependents by the November 21st deadline may not receive their $600 payment for those children automatically, but they will be able to get the $600 once they do their taxes for 2020. Finally, this round of stimulus checks will not count as income or resources for the purposes of other benefits, so things like health exchange insurance, 
Medicaid, SSI, SNAP, or housing assistance. So it will not affect one's eligibility for any of those programs, which is one of the most popular questions we have gotten. So although the fight for $2,000 stimulus checks seems to be stalled out, it is good to see that the $600 stimulus checks are already starting to get sent out. Although $600 is better than getting nothing, that's true, it's really still not enough to help with the months of back due rent, increased cost of daily living, and continuing economic slowdown. This check can only be a band-aid meant to tide over folks until a possible third round of stimulus checks can be worked out under the new Biden presidency. But until that time, it looks like we are all just going to have to make do with the benefits that are available. Now, this has been your Daily Dose, and I hope that you found it interesting or helpful or at least useful. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. So that's it for me and for California, I'm Michael wishing you a happy, healthy day.